have peace treaty with white men. This men no care. They kill my people, steal horses, ride. Five of them. Can, can you describe them? Young. Leader have hair on face, like angry sunset. Better be Red Gully, Kim. We know who they are, Flying Cloud. We'll take care of them. That I promise. Mm. I'm sick and tired of those gullies. Ride out and get rid of them. And while you're about it, bring back Reese Bennett. I gave him a week off, and he's a week overdue. Well, Captain, he's been up to apocalypse. Oh, with the China Hat Saloon. Yeah, and with Nellie, Rosie, and Margie there, uh, who wouldn't be a week overdue? Huh? Well, his vacation's over. Bring him back, under arrest. Are you serious, Captain? Handcuff him, hog tying him, drag him back. Ten days in the guardhouse, and that's something for you boys to think about. Starting right now, Reese Bennett's party is over. <laughs> Just great, just great. Hey, what day is today anyway, huh? <laughs> Tuesday. Tuesday? Well, what happened to Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, huh? They're gone, honey. Oh, Farmer will have my eye. Now listen, gals, I gotta go. But I want you to know I had a great time. A great time. So did we. <laughs> <laughs> Honey. Hurry back now. not going to like this. Handcuff him, hog tie him, and drag him in, huh? That's liable to take just a little bit of doing. Uh, you fellas figure we ought to take him with us when we get the gully boys? No, no, I think we'll tie him up so he can't move a finger, and then leave him with the girls. You know, that's just about the meanest thing I ever heard of. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like the China Hat Saloon's finally gone authentic. I'm starting to get a yen for some Chinese cooking, too. Unfortunately, gentlemen, you don't have a chance. Wahan Changxing, Chen, Igatsuma, Melody, Jojo. Wahan Changxing, Chen, Igatsuma, Melody, Jojo. My, my, but you takes this bow show do talk funny. Excuse me, honey, but I'm late for work. <laughs> Sayonara, you all. It was a shame to see old Eric standing there with all that egg roll on his face, wasn't it, Chad? Oh, yeah, it just broke my heart. Oh, that's why it's called the Inscrutable East, gentlemen. Hello, boy. Hi, Nellie. How you been doing? Just fine. Where have you been hiding? Haven't been hiding. Just been busy here and there, here and there. Sit down. Well, hi. Are you going to buy us a drink? Uh, not today, Rosie. We've got to get Reese and move on. Reese? Yeah, how's he been behaving himself? Just wonderful. He hasn't stuck his head out of the door for a full week. Well, where is he now? Gone. He left mm -hmm. a couple of days ago. Oh, swell. He's probably back in Laredo by now. I wouldn't bet on that. I think one of us better send a wire to Farmer Lee. All right, odd man, man sends a wire. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Sorry about that, Joe. Now, about those drinks. Bartender, set them up. Fill them all up. Oh, 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 oh,
What do you think you are, a one-man war party, huh? Me tell you! Oh, all you did was puncture me. Where's your folks, anyhow? White man kill. Now we're gonna kill all white men. Well, now, that's a pretty tall order for a little squirt. I got a good mind to make you a pretty red red skin on a certain tender part of your backside. Oh, 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 oh. You broke my arrow! Well, you're lucky I don't break your neck. Oh. That airhead's just gotta come out. You're the one that done it, you know, so you're the one that's gonna have to take it out. Me too, me too. Uh, yeah, yeah. And stab me in the back while, while, while I'm laying on the ground there, helpless. How me shoot rabbit? How me eat? Well, how me gonna get airway out, huh? I let you operate on me. You won't try any tricks. No tricks. Uh, you'd better not. You get back after? Well, you try any hanky-panky and I'll give you back. I'll give you back where it won't do you no good. Here. Now, come over here. Come on. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. Take it easy there, will you? Oh. Who'd you say killed your paw? White man. Well, why pick on me? I didn't have nothing to do with it. You pale face. Well, I've been indoors the, the past week. Don't watch it there, will you? Arrow go deep. Me gotta dig. But when using an Arkansas toothpick, dig gentle. How long you been on the loose? Sunrise two times. How many pale faces you get so far, huh? You first one I see. That's me. Lucky. Oh, 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 oh. Me get it out. Mm. Oh. Now, go over that rock there and and get some moss so as I can make a poultice. say. Reese never got back to Laredo. Parmalee sore as usual. He says forget Reese and find the gullies. Hmm. Then we'd better start a searching. <laughs> I must leave your bounteous joys. Poor old Reese is amongst the missing. We gotta find the gully boys. Adios, muñeca. Adios, amigo. Vamanos, compadre. Uh, Forty miles to go. Boy, from here on out, I'm gonna throttle every engine kit under eight. Oh, 
Cactus. Hey. Cactus. Hey, what are you doing over there, huh? Where you been, huh? You come here now, boy. Come here, boy. Good boy. Hey, kid. Hey, what hit you? Branch. Can you get up? Come on. Uh, uh, yeah. No broken bones. But you sure got a nasty bump in your head. Now, come on. You come on over here. Come on. Now, sit down there. Sit down. Taking care of you, I ought to hang you for a horse thief. Now, why'd you go steal him anyway, huh? Me want to get away. Me no like you. Well, me no like you either. Oh, you got me talking like you now. Now, you look here. I ain't crazy about you either. And just as soon as I finish banishing your head, you thieving little punk, me and you is going to say goodbye to each other. Because we're enemies. You get that? We're enemies. Get it? Hey, uh, you had anything to eat since you run off from me, huh? No. Yeah. Hmm. Well, here, chaw on this, will you? And wipe that junk off your face, will you? No, me store a warpath. Well, the next time you shoot a pale face, make sure you aim high, will you? What you do? What do I do? What do I do? I'm gonna sew off my pants, that's what I'm gonna do. Getting kind of drafty. No. Pale face got eyes like squaw. Well, all right, you little squirt. You think it's so easy? Let's see you try it. Go on. Okay, wise guy, how good you at sewing, huh? Me good at everything. Oh, you cocky little squirt, you probably are. Now, you wait here. You wait right here. Now, turn around. Go on, turn around. Here. Okay. Let's see some fancy hem stitching. You want your bow and arrows back. What's your name again? Blackwing. My father, great Indian chief. My mother, Indian princess. Who are you? Reese Bennett, Ranger. My mother took in Washington. My father took the money. Where are you going when you leave here, huh? Why do you care? Well, I don't give a hoot and a rain bear what you do. You can stay here and rock for all I care. Just asking you a polite question, that's all. Me don't know it means polite. It... Well, now, you knocked my hat off there. Polite, it's, uh... Well, it means it... that you got... Turn around. Well, uh, it, it means that, uh... Well, you'll never have to use it, so it don't matter. You better stick to shooting and stealing, because you're never going to make it as a seamstress, I'll tell you that. Yeah. Been halfway to Laredo by now, if it wasn't for you. If me shoot straight, you'd be halfway to Happy Hunting Ground. Oh, if there's anything I hate, it's a stuck-up little engine. And if I never see you again, never see you again my whole life, I'll be the happiest man in the whole world. Now, so long. So long.
Howdy, ladies. It's a nice day for a picnic, but you ought to keep an eye on your horse while he's grazing. Why, it wasn't a picnic, and our horses weren't grazing. They're gone. Stolen. Everything we had was stolen by those insufferable ruffians. There were five of them. They had guns. That must be the gullies. Well, I don't want to scare you ladies, but you got off lucky. But what are we going to do? We're mail order brides, and we were supposed to be at the Compton Ranch this morning. Uh, your husbands will understand, ladies. The mail is always a little late around here. Well, all this talk isn't going to get us to the ranch. Just what do you gentlemen propose to do about it? I'll tell you one thing we can't do, ma'am, and that's give you our horses. They're not carriage broke. Besides, we're after the ruffians who stole your horses. <laughs> Compton does happen to be our next stop, though, ladies, and you just sit easy here and we'll find somebody to send back a horse for you. But I'm afraid of snakes. I'm afraid of spiders. And I'm afraid you're not going to do anything about us. Well, fellas, I guess the only thing we can do is take them with us. All right, ladies. Oh! Sorry, friend. Good luck to you. Uh, Miss Barbara, Mr. Snodgrass, may I say on behalf of the Rangers, it's been a pleasure to help deliver the mail. You may not. It was a long, dusty, and dirty ride in an uncivilized land. And as for you, Mr. Snodgrass, it's time we look this place over. There are a few matters here that we have to discuss about our relationship. I want it clearly understood from the very beginning. Whew. Poor fella. Well, those first two look like they came special delivery, but that one. If I were Snotgrass, I'd send it back to the dead letter office. Yeah. Well, there's nothing more we can do around here. Let's get after the gully. Come. I got a soft heart, that's why. And I'm beginning to think I'm a little soft in the head, too. You take me back with you? Well, no. Whatever give you that lousy idea. There's a, there's a mission about 20 miles east of here. I'm late already, but I'll take you on over. I got to take you back to them Padres. No, me no go to Padres. Well, why not? Them fellas is wonderful. They're wonderful fellas. And, and they'll take real good care of you, too. Right now, you just, well, you just can't take care of yourself, that's all. Padre's white men? Well, of course they are. Then me gonna kill them. Why, you ungrateful little savage. Here I am trying to take care of you. Then Padre's gonna take real good care of you, and you're gonna kill him. Padre's let me hunt and fish? Well, now, I, I don't see why not. Most of them fathers is pretty nice fellas. Fathers? Well, that's, uh... That's what they call them, yeah. They're not really father fathers. They're, well, they're, they're everybody's father. Why not you be my father? Me? Now, what kind of loco talk is that? Me a father. Boy, that's a laugh if I ever heard one. You're just a, just a red engine, and I'm pure Scotch, Irish, English, Polish, and Welsh. You already got a son? All mixed up like that? No, I ain't got no son of any kind. Maybe time you get one. You pretty old. Old? I'm gonna take you back to the Padres, and that's final. I'm gonna take you to the Padres. And that's the last word. Hey, take that bandage off the head. Let me look at that head. Come on. You look okay to me. Don't have to worry about you no more. We'll camp here tonight and ride to the mission in the morning. And then the papa bear said, somebody's been sleeping in my bed. And, and then the, the mama bear said, somebody's been sleeping in my bed. And, and then the, 
the little, the little tiny baby bear said, somebody been sleeping in my bed, and there she is. So they eat her up. No, they didn't eat her up, you bloodthirsty little Comanche. Why they not? She sleep all over their teepee. She eat up all their food. She pin and neck. Look, now listen, stupid. She ran away and never come back, see? That lousy story. That Cinderella, she loco too. How anybody gonna wear a glass moccasin? Okay, I'll give you Cinderella. But you like that Rapunzel, that, that, that dame that hung her hair out the window so her boyfriends could climb up. She do that two times. She scalp herself. Oh, scalp herself. Okay, smarty pants. Suppose you tell me a story, huh? Many moons ago, beautiful princess lived with stepmother who go to pond each day and ask, water, water, tell me true, who have pretty face to you? Hey, that story sounds familiar. Old Indian legend. Princess call. I forget her name. Snow White. No, no. Running deer. Anyway, Pa and always tell stepmother, you got pretty face, I think, but running deer, she make you stink. So stepmother, she make poison corn, put running deer to sleep for a hundred moons. Yeah, yeah, sure. And then a handsome brave comes along and, and woke her up with a kiss. What means kiss? Never mind what means kiss. Now go on, don't keep me hanging. Brave grab her by hair. Stick her on back of pony. She wake up. He take her home. She make him happy teepee. <sighs> you not only steal horses, you steal fairy tales. Now come on, lay down there and get some shut eye. Me not sleepy. You're not sleepy. Look, I'm in charge of this outfit, and I say it lights out. Now come on. Get the sack. Go on. Ooh. Ooh. Blackwing, where are you? We've been attacked. He tried to kill you. Why, you... You killed one of your own people. No, he bad Indian. He Apache. He killed my people, too. Well, then we'd better... We'd better bamboos out of here. There could be more of them. No, tribe kick him out. He have no horse. He want yours. He kill you if me not shoot. <laughs> well, I'll be jiggered. You're quite a guy, wingy boy. Quite a guy. Come on, bloodhound. Don't tell us you lost the scent. Smart fella, that gully. Turned around out there and then rode in the middle. Yeah, but which way? Upstream or downstream? It's got to be one way or the other, doesn't it? Now, even I could have told you that, Joe. Yeah, but you could, Chad. Joe, if you've lost them, just admit it. We'll understand. Sure, you've lost a trail before. I didn't say I'd lost it. I just can't figure out which way they went. Well, take your time, Joe. There's no rush. I mean, the rate you're going, we won't even have to arrest them. By the time we catch up with them, uh, they'll have died of old age. That way. Downstream is more logical. Well, that's what Gully'd figure. And then he'd turn around and go the other way. Let's go.
Can we get near mission? Yeah, pretty soon now. Just around that bend. You sure you want to go there? You tell me I must go. Yeah, probably just the place for you too. You get three squares a day and they learn you how to be a Christian. But, uh, you know, you got to do a lot of praying. Morning, and noon, and uh, uh, when the sun goes down, and just before you go to bed, a fella gets housemaid me in a place like that. They don't speak much except Spanish, and you don't savvy that lingo, do you? No savvy. Oh, what am I saying? You don't speak English as good as me. You teach me? I learn to speak like you? No. Maybe you better forget the whole thing. Forget the whole thing. Maybe I'll just take you back to an Indian agent. Let him get you back to your people. Me got no people. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Now, suppose... Now, mind you, I ain't saying I'm going to do it, but just supposing I take you back to Laredo with me. Now, of course, they're going to rib the pants off of me and that. Well, look, I ain't, I ain't got a wife and, well, I ain't even got no regular home. Well, let's face it, I'm a bum. You wouldn't want to live with a bum, would you? Sure. Oh, uh, maybe we better just forget the whole idea. They'd call me a squall man, make bad jokes about me. And you know something? They can talk all they want. A kid saves my life. And all the thanks he gets is I, I, I turn him over to strangers. What kind of, kind of a father would that make me anyway, huh? Lousy father. <laughs> Come on, Cactus. We're going to Laredo. <laughs> <laughs> Me no find rabbit for supper. Now look, when we get back to Laredo, you gotta quit talking like an engine. You just, you just gotta stop calling yourself me. Me not me? Then who me? Well, of course you're me. I mean, well, I mean, you're you. But you don't, you don't call yourself me. You don't say, me no find no rabbit. You gotta say, I couldn't find no rabbit. I couldn't find no rabbit. Me go look later. Tell me don't care one way or another. And another thing, you gotta learn spelling. You know how to write your name? No right. Huh. Well, now. Now. B. That's the, the second letter in the alphabet. What means alphabet? That's where all the letters come from. A, B, C, D, E, E. Oh, well, and so on, you know. Now, what do we got here, huh? B. We got B. Now, the next letter is L. L. That comes in just before M. Where you put M? Oh, M ain't got nothing to do with your name. Now, stop confusing me. We got B and L. <laughs> and next comes A. That first letter of alphabet. Hey, now, how'd you know that? You just tell me. Well, all right, all right. We got B and L and A. <laughs> And next comes K. Uh-uh. What do you mean, uh-uh? Who's teaching who how to spell, huh? One time Indian agent write my name. He put sign like small half boo between first letter of alphabet and sign like kicking horse. You know something? You're right. You know what's good about me and you being together? We learn from each other. When we get to Laredo, is it gonna be just me and you? You got no squaw? Nope. Ain't even going steady. Who pound your corn? Who make your moccasins? 
Who clean out your teepee? Now look, I don't eat corn, I wear boots, not moccasins, and I live in a barracks that ain't been cleaned since the day it was built. Come to think of it, I guess I guess I'm gonna have to get a furnished room first. Then you can pound the corn, make my moccasins, and clean the teepee. Me no squaw, me Indian brave. Now it's time to go find Rabbit. Who look for Rabbit, me or I? <laughs> Both of you. <laughs> Them there gals sure had some pretty duds. <laughs> yeah, I wish they'd have fought a little more. <laughs> hey, look, Red, ain't I cute? <laughs> <laughs> It's only a punk Indian kid. Well, go get him. Hold it, Abner. I say we keep looking, Red. I don't like engines using me for target practice. What do we care about engines? Remember, we got rangers on our trail, and they might have heard them shots. He's right, Abner. Ah, oh, shut up. You always agree with everything he says. That's because I'm always right. See you. Go on, drop your irons. And drop that child, too. Go on. Five gullies. <laughs> Five hundred dollars for old Reese. <laughs> kill him! Kill him! I told you to stay undercover. You let us go where I let the kid have it. him as a hostage, in case them other rangers show up. Ooh! That's Reese's horse. Ooh. Please, you come? My father in trouble. You help? Well, who's your father? Ranger, man who owned that horse. You mean Reese Bennett's your father? I show you way. Please, you follow? Like they took Reese with them. How many were there? That many. One out here like fire. The gullies. That gives us a double reason for going after him. What about the kid? Hey, he'd better stay behind. No, me go with you. Help find father. All right, all right, you can go. But what's all this father business? You don't, you don't suppose old Reese has been leading a secret life, do you? Well, you never can tell what Reese is up to. What's your name, son? Blackwing. Blackwing Bennett. There's a name for you. Yeah. Well, we better start looking for old Shifty Wing Bennett, his daddy. Come on, son, let's go.
to me, keep him as a hostage. Why not kill him right now? If his pals come looking for him, we got a good talking point, like we just said with the engine kit. How do we know they got Reese in there? Miko, scout! Now you stay right here, huh? I better go have a look-see. If he is inside and he is tied up, Get in the line of fire. Right. Guess what Reese is doing? What? He's taking himself a snooze. He's all trussed up like a turkey and he's snoring at the top of his lungs. Hmm. Well, what about the gully? Two of them are on guard outside. The other three got a card game going inside and a bottle on the table. You know, if uh, two of us was to go up on that roof, we could take out those two guards for the fellow that has to go through the door. Flip me. Yeah, let's find out who that fellow's gonna be. I'll need one new coin. Odd man. <laughs> I don't know how I do it. <laughs> Just lucky, I guess. <laughs> You're not that lucky, Bard. <laughs> uh-uh. You stay here. We'll get your old man up. Myself. Sure, Reese, you're a great guy in a fight. Sure you could have, Reese. We just came by to help you out, Pard, that's all. Reese, you're all right. <laughs> all right. Put him on. Yes, sir. Hey, now what kind of bunk joke is this, huh? Well, get me out of these darn things right now. Sorry, friend. Captain's orders. You let him go, or me go on Warpath. Me kill you. Take it easy, One thing boy. you can say about the boy, he's certainly a chip off the old block. Blackwing! Uncle! Ha, ha, ha. 
I track you for many days, Blackwing. I think you did. He'd take care of me now. He my new father. I am grateful you care for Blackwing. You, uh, you, uh, some kin of his? His father, my brother. Family dead. Only Blackwing, flying cloud left. Oh. Well, uh, <laughs> a kid's better off with his own kind, ain't he? Huh? What he mean when he say you, his father? Well, uh, he take me back with him. We get furnished room. Oh, now, what kind of talk was that? That was just a joke. I was just kind of taking care of him for the last couple of days. That's all I was doing. Just kind of taking care of him, that's all. Till I could find a place to dump him. Just dump you, that's all. You, you come along in the nick of time. All right, you guys, let's get out of here. Come on. Uncle, no, no, don't let him go. Everything will be all right. You're leaving the boy behind, Reese? I ain't leaving nobody behind. He's just staying here with his own people, that's all. Now, come on, let's go. Father, father, you forget me. I don't forget you. I don't forget you at all. Now you get back there where you belong. Go on. And I ain't your father. We got no father but you. Well, now you just forget all that guff. I'm a ranger, and, and you're an engine. I'm with my people now, and, and you're back with your people now, too. Now go on, beat it. Beat it. Poker to pass the time, Reese. We'll deal you in through the bars. No, just leave me alone, will you? Hey, Reese, what's the use of moping? You'll be out in a few days. Moping? I ain't moping. I don't want to play any cards. Reese. You've got a visitor. He wants to talk to you. An Indian. Well, if it's flying cloud. I've said all I got to say. All I got to say. And you can tell him for me that I... tell him yourself. Yeah. Nation. I come to say goodbye. I think it polite to do. Okay for I to say polite this way? Me think it politest thing me ever heard of. Okay. Maybe sometime you ranger up to Oklahoma. Even if it means another ten days in a guardhouse. Now, you take real good care of yourself. Here. Because I want you to grow up to be the bravest brave in the whole Comanche tribe. I want to be awful proud of you. And, and someday I want you to marry one of them beautiful Indian maidens and, and give me a, a passel of grandchildren. How you be grandfather when you're not my father anymore? What dirty skunk said that? <laughs> Captain, you got a great 
here a great little jail. Ho, ho, ho. Be a gentleman and let that girl go now. What's this all about? Who are you? Riley, Texas Rangers. Who are you? Cam Yang, Lieutenant of Great Warlord, General Shen Ti. General Ti kidnapped Jim Singh from missionary school in China. Take to Mexico, the detestable Wa Tang. Kidnap Jim Singh from General Ti. Also steal his opium to sell in State United. General Ti sent us to bring back traitor. Tang, and Jem Singh, who is the delight of his eyes, and the delicate flower he want to marry. Oh, please. Please not make her go back. This is a free country, part. She doesn't have to go anywhere. Cam Yang Wan, you die if you do not. And you die, too, if you take property of a General T. She's not anybody's property. You can go back to Laredo with me. You got any objections? General T, not like. We tell the general he can find me any time he wants in Laredo. Move. You're free now, Jem Singh. Oh, Jem Singh not free. Jem Singh's life, it is yours. Well, that's... That's real nice of you, ma'am, and I, I want to thank you, but I'm going to have to give it right back to you. But, Sterling won. You saved Jem Singh's life. Now life is yours, forever. Old Chinese custom, master. Master. should quit all that bowing. Yes, Master. What do you think you're doing now, Jim Singh? Jim Singh carry Master Saddleback like good bond servant. Now let me do this, will you please? Oh, no, Master. Jem Seng? No. Please. Mm. Disgusting, a big, strong-looking man like that. Oh, he should be horsewhipped. Oh, no, Master, I carry, please. Jem Please. Looks like you did all right for yourself down in New Orleans, Joe. Jem Singh, now you listen real good to me, will you? Mm. In this country, the men do all the carrying. Oh, no, illustrious master. Not proper. Master? Jem Singh, will you please stop calling me master? Yes, master. Joe, what are you wrestling with that little bitty girl for? I'm not wrestling with that itty-bitty girl. I'm trying to carry my own bags. Well, now, if you were a gentleman, you would let her carry the bags. You know, you two guys are really a big help. He is right, you know. Oh, this is the way of the mysterious East, Joe. Now, a real gentleman would respect the customs of one who is a guest in this country. Master lose much face if he carries own bag. 
Please. All right, Jump Sing. It's gonna make you happy, all right. Oh. Master, too good to unworthy servant. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a real sport. Aren't you uh, going to introduce us, Joe? Jem Singh? These characters are rangers, too. Chad Cooper? How do you do? Eric Hunter. Gege Wei Ching An. Honorable rangers. Shi Shi. Joe, what's all this uh, master stuff? You can listen when I make my report to Parma Lee, Cooper. Jem Singh? The further you stay away from these two, the better off you're gonna be. <laughs> east is east and west is west. Yeah, but the twain sure met this time. Wow. The plague took her folks when she was ten back in China. Some missionaries from Tianjin took her in and educated her. That's when General T kidnapped her. Shen T. I've got a fat dossier on General T. A powerful and ruthless warlord, the Tiger of Tianjin. He controlled half of the Hapei province, used it as his own private kingdom. Till finally he went too far, even for China. The Tianjin Massacre. Sacked the city and slaughtered its people. And when Empress Dowager put price on Ruthless Head, General flee to Mexico. Yeah, he's holed up in some small town about 80 miles south of the border. Lampazos. The general bought up farmland, started to raise poppies. Yeah, Jem Singh says he has some big idea about starting a new empire down there. He's off to a fast start. He knocked off the syndicate supply men in Mexico, took over the opium operation himself, and now he's trying to cut himself in for a bigger share, and they don't like it. What about the Mexican authorities? We're working with them. But General T is a very clever fellow. Claims he exports and produces opium for medicinal purposes only, and we haven't been able to prove otherwise. He's wanted on a couple of murder charges, but he knows we can't go in to get him, and he's smart enough not to set foot on this side of the border. Now, the question is, how does this little lady fit into the picture? Well, it seems the general has a big yen for Jim Singh. Matter of fact, he wants to marry you. And you don't want to? Oh, no, exalted captain. Jemsing hate crew general with great passion. You see, Captain, he claims he owns her. I've told her she's free, but she doesn't believe me. Joe's right, Jemsing. You are free. Oh, no, Jemsing not free. Jemsing's life belongs to Sterling One. Sterling One? That's what she calls me, Captain. Oh, forgive me. I, I should have known, Riley. Jemsing dedicate life to service of splendid master. Wash, cook. So? Thanks a lot, Jim Singh, but... Well, that's out of the question. He's right, Jim Singh. There's no place in the ranges for a girl. Jim Singh not understand why you all wish to send her away? You know, like this worthless person? Perhaps her features or her countless flaws offend you? Oh, we don't want to send you away, Jim Singh, do we, Eric? Of course not. Yeah, I bet you don't. Now don't you worry about it, Jim Singh. Well, you're gonna find somebody a lot better to work for than me. He's right, Jem Singh. A lot better than Sterling one here. But Jem Singh no one anyone. Jem Singh one incomparable master. Look, Jem Singh, in this country, it's Mr. Besides Mr. Master, Jem Singh not know anyone or where to go. Well, you can't just turn her out in the cold, Captain. It's not cold. Well, it is for her, considering she's all alone here and doesn't know anything about the country. That's right, Captain. Why, putting her out is worse than General T would do. Please permit Jem Singh to stay. She worked very hard. Eat little, sleep floor. No trouble. Like shadow in night forest. No see, no hear. Jem Singh has nothing but to serve. You ring bell, she comes swift, wings on feet. Always obedient. You beat her if she not. What do you think, Captain? Well, I, uh, I think we can work something out for the time being anyway. At least until we can find a next of kin and send her home. Oh, most merciful, Captain. Jemsing bowed to your august generosity. Well, the, uh, the important thing is to, to find her a place to stay. Uh, how about Mrs. Morton's place? Sounds fine. Good. We'll take her right on over there. Now, wait just a minute, lover boy. I'll take care of getting Jim Singh settled in. Come on. Oh, no, Master. Jim Singh walked two steps behind Sterling One. It's an old Chinese custom, Joe. 
Yeah, I'll have it your way. Interesting situation. If General T is as hooked on Jem Singh as Joe says, she could be the bait that could lure the tiger of Tien Sin out of his lair. If the syndicate cannot pay my price for the opium, there are others who are more than willing to meet my terms. Tell them that, Mr. Cavelli. What are his General T? I refer, of course, to my brothers of the powerful Chinese tongs in the United States. I would like to remind you, General, the syndicate is not about to give up its control of the opium, not short of an all-out war. And there ain't no one going to profit from that. There is much truth in what you say, Mr. Cavelli. Already there has been too much killing. Perhaps it is time the syndicate leaders sat down at the council table with me to settle our differences. Well, that's why I'm here, General. You see, my bosses want to meet with you in San Francisco. I would be destroyed with delight if this were possible. Only, of course, as you already may know, there have been several false charges of murder placed against me across the border. It would mean forfeiting my life to go there. <laughs> Surely, you would not wish that. Perish the thought. Then your friends will have to come here to Lamposos to sit at the council table with me under my humble roof. I'll put it up to him. It is truly written, the wise man repairs the dike before it breaks and drowns him. Yeah. Your Excellency. Well, where is Yem Singh and that traitor Wat Tang and my opium? Wat Hong is dead and the opium taken, Excellency. The work of Texas Rangers. You have dared to return with such news? But I have found Jem Singh. Well, there is something at any rate. Where is the exquisite child now? Preparing to present herself before me? Uh, no, Excellency. She is in Laredo. Laredo? But I could help her, Excellency. We were attacked by a large force of rangers, led by one Joe Riley. He took her for himself. Describe this Joe Riley. I'm sorry to be so useless. But all white men look alike to me. There is no place for bunglers in the service of General Shanti. Remove him! And his head. No, Excellency! No! no! It is truly said. What the servant cannot do, the master must. We ride for Laredo at once! Chinese bandit. Honorable Master Approve? Yeah. Yeah, sure, Jim Singh. I, I think it's a beautiful job of decorating. Yes. Make big difference when the Rangers barrack over in Chinese modern. What's that for? Lilac water. To refresh fatigue master after hard day's work on ranch. And to remove horse smell. That's a waste of time, Jim Singh. Well, I like it, Jim Singer. I think it smells just fine. Oh. Now, Master, put on kimono. What for? Kimono is for Master to relax at home. Well, thanks a lot, Jim Singh, but I don't think I feel like relaxing quite that much. Thanks. But after Jim Singh so all night, it makes special for Master? Uh, Joe, remember, it's... Uh... It's an old Chinese custom. Yeah. All right. All right, Jim Singh. <laughs> mm. Now, Master looked truly sterling. No? No. No, Master looked like a sack of rice tied in middle. <laughs> yeah, well, I like it. And that's what counts, Jim Singh. Oh, Jim Singh, prepare tea for Master now. Look, Jim Singh, you gotta quit doing all these things for me. You gotta quit. Tea is all. Everything else already done. Everything else? Do house, do kimono, do laundry. 
What laundry? Jim think find dirty linen mountain on the master's bunk. You did my... You washed it all? Yes. Take much scrub, much water. But Jim Singh do all. Well, even my... What he's trying to ask you, Jim Singh, is did you do his long johns, too? Big wool with the flap and back. Those are the ones, the ones with the big flap. Yes. All out online now. For some to make dry. I go get. No, I'll go get it. Honorable Master, not pleased? Who, oh, Joe? Oh, sure, Jim Singh. He's ecstatic. Why, why, gathering laundry off the lines an old American custom. If Master not pleased, it is proper he should beat me. Mm. Come on, Jim Singh. I'll show you the town, huh? I'll go along. <laughs> Excuse me. You're going to ruin your hands with all that washing. Well, Jim Singh decided to do a little house cleaning, Kevin. Oh, I see. And this thing you're wearing, is this a new type of uniform? Well, that's a kimono, sir. Interesting. I don't mean the prime, Mr. Riley, but, but what is that? Lilac water? Amazing what one little girl can do in a week. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, where is everybody, Kevin? That's what I'd like to know. Now, you tell Hunter and Cooper to report in right away. While they're playing hearts and flowers, I don't think General T is wasting his time playing Marjan. <laughs> proud as General T isn't going to let someone steal his bride and do nothing about it. Well, I don't like using Jim Singh as bait. It's too dangerous for her. She's safer here than any place else. He's right, Joe. Maybe. I think she'd be a lot safer if you two quit prowling around her. Joe, we have the purest of motives. Well, I know, Eric. I just want to make sure it stays that way. Joe Riley, I think you're stuck on that girl. Now listen, Chad. She's sweet and she's innocent. Nothing like the kind of girls we know. And we're not going to take advantage of her. The protector of the flock, would you believe it? How the mighty have fallen. Beast. Ma'am. The nerve, working that poor little girl to the bone like that. Huh. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Do you two think you could tear yourselves away from making moon eyes at Jim Singh long enough to take on some ranger work? Captain, we were just trying to be gentlemen. Very commendable. I just got a wire from Reese in San Francisco. Two of the syndicate's top boys, Tony Scarpito and Louis Fiumi, have just left the city. The word is they're heading for a powwow with General T in Lampasas. Well, then the general won't be coming to Laredo for Jemsing after all. No way of knowing. But you want us to keep an eye out for Scarpito and Fiumi. All right. They were seen crossing into Texas here. Well, uh, should we bring them in, Captain? Unfortunately, we have no reason to arrest them. I want a confirmation of that meeting for the Mexican authorities. They may be able to make something of it. What about Joe, Captain? What about Joe? Well, do you want him to go with us? If I did, I'd have said so. Or is that what's worrying you two? Afraid he's cutting out with Jem Singh? Uh, no, sir. We're not ever worried about Joe. Of course not. Good. Then you can leave Laredo with untroubled minds. Saddle up. Yes. I'm not going to do it, Jem Singh. Now go away, will you, please? Oh, please, Master. 
I'm saying, how many times do I have to tell you I'm not gonna beat you with that stick? Oh, I find better stick. Then you beat Jim Singh good? Oh, Jim Singh, can't you understand? I'm not gonna beat you with any stick. Oh, but Sterling, one, you not understand. If you don't beat Jim Singh, I'm a servant girl, then you don't care about her. Jim Singh not able to hold up head in Laredo. She's right, you know. As the Chinese say, for best results, women and drums should be beaten regularly. <laughs> Do me a favor, will you, Hunter? Stay out of this. But Joe, it's an old Chinese... I know, I know, it's an old Chinese custom, but I'm not Chinese. But Jem Singh is. Oh, what kind of a gentleman are you, anyway, who won't even oblige a lady? First time master cruel to Jem Singh. Cruel? Not beat her. Beast. All right, all right, all right, I'm gonna show you who's boss around here. I'm gonna beat the tar out of you, Jem Singh. Now get in there. Move, come on. You don't think he'd really? No, ma'am, not a chance. Are you two going to stand there and let him beat that little girl? It's disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. We're going to report you to the Texas Rangers. Oh, ma'am, we are the Texas Rangers. Well, then, do your duty. Take this. Ah! Ah! All right, you soft shell, Simon, agree you can cut the act. So you let Jem Sing down, huh? Oh, Jem Sing more happier this way. If anyone here, they think Master give Jem Sing A1 horsewhip. And if Master goes to such trouble not to beat, means Master really cares very much for Jem Sing. So Jem Sing have all advantages of beating with none of bruises. Master, come home now. Jemsin prepared delicious dish for dinner, called Momo. Enough for all. Well, uh, thank you, Jem Singh, but we just got scout duty. Well, ain't that too bad? You know, I feel real sorry for you, fellas. Real sorry. How do you figure women? Oh, with Jem Singh, I think he's using the Bacchus. A what? An abacus. to get in hot water? All right, Jimson. Now, come on around on this side of the blanket and, and turn your back. Come on. Master modest, like maiden. When master ready, Jimson scrub back. Give A1 rub down. Rub down? Oh, now listen, Jimson. This has got to stop. It's all got to stop right now. Master not happy with Jimson? She no please him? Oh, look, Jem Singh. Well, you please me fine. Just fine, but... But all the things you're doing for me, you're doing because you think you owe me something. Look, I can't let you go on offering yourself out of obligation. Don't you understand? Master not think Jem Singh pretty enough. Master think Jem Singh beautiful. <laughs> Or you will join illustrious ancestors. Jim Singh, my eyes are ravished with the delight of beholding your beauty once more. Who is this man? Oh, it's Joe Riley, great general. Ranger who rescued Jim Singh from evil Wang Tang. Ah, uh, so it's the ranger who rescued Jim Singh. And my opium from Kam Yang. Where's the opium now, Ranger? Captain Formalee's got it. You care to try and take it back? In time. 
Has this man dared to touch you? Ranger, only protect Jemsen. Take very good care of her. The ways of the West are indeed inscrutable. If this is true, then General T is still willing to marry Jem Singh. She doesn't want to marry you. It is what I desire that is of consequence. I have indulged you for too long, Jem Singh. And I will take you back to Mexico and marry you right away. Captain Lee, kill him quietly. Oh, please, great general! Spare the ranger's life and Jem Singh go with you. Marry willingly. Perhaps I am too soft and sentimental, but it shall be as Jem Singh desires. I will spare your life, Ranger, as Jem Singh asks. However, I will need your person to ensure our safe passage to an undisturbed stay in Mexico. Render him silent. <laughs> Quiet, or I will slice his throat here and now. Understand? General T, who sprung the trap. You were very lucky, Captain. The bullet just creased the forehead. But I suggest you take a few days' rest. No riding or strenuous activity of any kind. See you, Doc. Thanks a lot. Yeah, we would be out of town just when he comes in. They're probably in Lampasas by now. So we just have to go in and bring them out. We can't, and T knows it. Lampasas is out of our jurisdiction. But, Captain, if we wait to go through all the channels, why, they might even kill Joe. If they haven't already. Hey, Chad, we haven't had a decent vacation in months. How does a little fishing expedition strike you? Fishing it? Good idea, Captain. I understand it's the height of the Chinese barracuda season. How about it, Captain? Short leave? I haven't heard a good fish story in a long time. Leave granted. Good deal. Let's go. Eric, just one thing. You happen to have any idea on how we're going to get Jem Singh and Joe out of there alive? Well, don't you think those two syndicate chiefs we spotted should be getting to the border sometime this morning? Yeah. Yeah, and they've been invited. Uh-huh. Customs inspection. Look, we're going out of the country, not in. Oh, this is a new policy. Are you carrying any fruits, plants, or vegetables? No. Contraband of any kind? Nothing. We're just typical American tourists. You are too modest. Would you mind stepping down so we can conduct a thorough inspection? Yeah, we would mind. We're in a hurry. Please. <laughs> So now what? Strip. Jemsing bring delectable dish to imprisoned ranger. Celestial general, give permission. Soon to be wife of Lord of Lampasos, no need permission. Trouble with American food. Hour later, you're still hungry. Thanks, Jim. 
saying. I'm not hungry. How fast am I to eat? Keep up strength. So you have much iron. What are you trying to do? Jamsing help free master. No good get gun this time. Maybe next time. Jim Singh, there's not gonna be any next time. If he finds out you're trying to help me escape, he'll kill you. Jim Singh, no care. Master saved Jim Singh's life. Now Jim Singh repaid. Jim Singh, I told you before, you don't owe me anything, nothing. Oh, yes. Jim Singh owe Master everything. More than can express ever since leave mission. No one be nice, gentle to Jim Singh without wanting something in return. Only you, most kind master, give all of self without ask or take anything. So Jem Singh somehow steal gun and bring to confined master. Jem Singh, you listen to me. I don't want you to come back here. I don't want you to come back here ever. You're nothing but a dumb little girl who's caused me nothing but problems ever since I first met you. Now get out of here and leave me alone, will you? I can't stand you or your stupid customs. But master! I'm not your master. I don't want any part of that. Can't you understand it? No, master! Oh, yes. Now get out of here. I hate the sight of you. Jim Singh. General T's place. Yeah. Hey, over there. Oh, hello, Joe. Inform the Taipan, your Supreme Lord General T, that the representatives of the Syndicate have arrived. So far, so good. I told you we'd make it in. I have one question. Will we make it out? That we shall see. I feel like we're putting our heads in the tiger's mouth to find out if he bites. Gentlemen. Never again are you to go near the ranger. Is that clear? Illustrious General, I have honor to introduce representatives of great American syndicate, Mr. Chad Cooper. My face is whitened with honor as you enter my humble abode. It is us who are honored, General, at your gracious hospitality. May you live 10,000 years. And Mr. Eric Hunter. May your shadow be never less. And may you have a 100 children, all of them sons. You, of course, know Mr. Rocco Clavelli, of your own esteemed organization. Never saw him before in my life. What? I was just going to say the same thing. What is this? I, I was expecting Tony Scarpito and Louis Fiume. Uh, the Capo decided to send us instead, at the very last minute. Yeah, well, how come I never heard of you guys before? Because we work out of Chicago. We just arrived from San Francisco last week. Well, you probably know us by our professional handles. Pretty boy Cooper here. And Dutch the Clutch Hunter. Oh, yeah, uh, Pretty Boy and Dutch the Clutch. Yeah, that's different. Honored guests, permit me to introduce the beautiful lotus petal, Yem Singh, who will become my bride this very happy day. You are undoubtedly fatigued from the rigors of the road and would wish to refresh yourselves before we discuss the fair division of profit and influence of our narcotics business. Captain Lee will show you to your quarters. Gentlemen.
gentlemen. Mind if I step in for a minute, have a word with you, gents? I was just about to suggest that. Uh, refreshments for honored guests. Thank you. All right, you guys. Now, I know everyone in the syndicate, and you ain't a part of it. Who are you, and what's going on? We're Texas Rangers. What, are you nuts? Or are you just tired of living? Well, you wouldn't want to kill someone that could do you a big favor, would you? What do you mean? You do want to get rid of General T, don't you? But isn't that what Scott Pito and Fiume were coming here for? To back you up? Maybe. What really happened to him, anyway? Well, they're safe enough. Temporarily detained in Laredo. Yeah? On what charges? Indecent exposure. Now, we would like to have the general permanently detained. That'd take him out of your hair for good. Uh, you'll never get out of here alive with General T. The only way we can get out of here alive is with General T. Now, if we can take him prisoner, he'd be our safe conduct. You with us? I don't know. What about his soldiers? His old Chinese proverb, when the head is cut off, the body dies. Yeah. I'll drink to that. You got it. <laughs> It'd be much more fitting if I drink to it. Inasmuch as both you gentlemen and your colleague, Mr. Riley, will very shortly be demonstrating for my benefit the timeless truth of the proverb when I have you beheaded. You and your Chinese proverbs. you think you're going to get away with killing three Texas Rangers? May I remind you, Mr. Cooper, that you're not in Texas? And the good people of Lampasso's having been uh, persuaded to make me their sheriff. Sheriff, that is. That's like asking a rat to guard the cheese. With my soldiers as ready-made deputies, of course, at no extra expense. It is my obligation to see that justice is done. Quickly and cleanly. Justice for what? For the cold-blooded murder of my late lamented house guest, the illustrious Mr. Clavelli. When's the trial? You have just had it. How do we do? Guilty, of course. Of course. Now, what makes you what makes you think that the syndicate's gonna swallow all that hogwash? They may very well suspect the truth, but would you three trouble some lawman dead? They can prove nothing. And they will now perhaps be ready to discuss business with me without further delay. Your health, gentlemen. I'll drink to that. Uh, me too. <laughs> you will be executed immediately after my wedding to Jim Singh. Winner take all, huh? Precisely, Mr. Hunter. Is there any place in particular you would like your head sent? I don't count your heads before they're hatcheted. My optimism is warranted expiring rangers. You do not have, as the expression puts it, a Chinaman's chance. For it is written in Jade, he who rides the tiger finds it difficult to dismount in one piece. Take them away. Chop, chop. That boy swings a mean axe. Mm. You say you don't feel a thing. I'm sure not anxious to find out. Here goes another pumpkin. Well, that makes two for tea. What else is going on out there? He's giving Jem Singh a cup. That's tea for two, part of the Chinese wedding ceremony. the so famous Texas Rangers. We are ready now to execute them. But you promised you would spare Mr. Riley. Mr. Riley? But I only meant until we were married. 
Get them. You may begin the fireworks. Uh-oh. Here comes the Grim Reaper. I'll be hanged. Poor man just couldn't face losing his head. Where's the one called Riley? Right here, General. Now you tell your men to drop their guns or you're a dead general. Sterling one! You saved Jem Singh again! Now you drop your weapons! <laughs> the head and the body does die. Oh, Master, safe. You're not hurt? No, I'm fine, Jim Singh. Thanks to you. Me? Oh, no. Oh, yes, Jim Singh. A life for a life. That makes us even now. No. Master, always be more even than Jim Singh. Jim Singh, it's, it's not Master anymore. That's an order. Jim Singh humbly kowtows to wish of Sterling Master.
Looks like he finally got the point, huh? So ends the bitter yen of General T. The Federale's got T's men. You ready to go? Jim Singh? Are you sure you don't want to go back to Laredo with us? Jem Singh think maybe she'd do more good here. We're more needful. Raise food on unlamented husband's land. Feed hungry. We'll send you the reward money on the general. Jem Singh used to help poor orphans like she once was before she met most generous rangers. I'll never forget. Most kind, most generous, most good former master. Jem Singh burned infinite incense to Goddess of Mercy. To watch over and protect him. Always. Is that an old Chinese custom, Jem Singh? No. New American custom I learned. To show much love. I'm not gonna forget you, Jem Singh. But don't go around kissing everyone like that, huh? Former master, not everyone. Former master, always someone very special to Jem Singh. What's the matter, Sterling One? You look a little tarnished. Who, me? Glad to get rid of her. Sure you are. Move out, will you, Chad? 